router locates to the reference bar with these blocks, the red and yellow blocks. The blocks fit into a receiver right here in the reference bar so that we can locate repeatedly the location of the hinges. So next thing we're going to do is show you how to set up the hinge blocks so that they're in the correct locations. You take a standard door, we're going to lay it out for your standard hinge pattern. Put a line at the top of the hinge and three and a half inches away at the bottom of the hinge. We'll take a square, transfer that line so it goes all the way across the edge of the door. We'll do this for all three hinge locations. So we're going to start down here at this end with a red hinge block. Leave it loose on the bar. Position the door against the door stop and clamp it in. We'll bring the router down. We'll set the router on the hinge block. And we'll slide it over until the reference lines on the reference bar line up with the pencil marks on the door. Now we know that the mortise is cut directly in line with the reference lines on the reference bar because we set that up earlier. When you hold the block down in the back, raise the router up, tighten the bolt. After you've done that, put the door back in, clamp it back in place, bring the router down, and check it to see if it still lines up. So we're going to repeat the process for the other two locations on this hand door. Now that we've located all the red blocks on this side, we can turn our door end for end, put the head of the door against the other stop and use the same set of lines to set the yellow blocks. The last thing to set on an index bar is the deadbolt stops. This is the deadbolt stop with the tab that flips out to stop the door against. So we'll simply measure from the edge of the deadbolt stop to the door stop. In this case I'm going to set it for a five and a half inch offset. So that should measure five and a half inches from there to the door stop. Now when I want to do a deadbolt, and pull the door down against that, and that relocates the door five and a half inches differently. Of course we'll also set the deadbolt stop at the other end the same way. Now that we have all the stops set on the index bar, the next thing would be to put a door in and cut mortises off from all of the stops to verify their locations. If you need to move one slightly then go ahead and adjust it to make the mortises come out correctly. After you're done with that then we'll go back and we'll tighten all of the other set screws.